everybody I hope you are doing well so um, I know it's been a little while but I just wanted to give you guys a little baby pregnancy update for weeks 9 and 10 of my pregnancy okay um just letting you guys know weeks 9 and 10 were rough like super 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 difficult weeks um Food of, well, okay, let's start with the positive. One positive thing was, was that breast, tender, whatever, all the issues that I was complaining about, um, was basically got a lot better, got a ton, ton better. Um, the issues that I had with my, like, blood pressure, blood sugar, and my vision narrowing and almost fainting, that also, um, I was able to to drink a lot of water and I think that helped a lot. It still happened a little bit at night, but it got a lot better. Um, also, circulation, I was, it was really feeling miserable because, oh, I have to sneeze, okay. Um, so the other issue that I have, which is circulation issue and basically like my feet being so cold and like never being able to get warm. Also my hands bulb was more so my feet. Um, that also got a little bit better. Also got a little bit better. Um, so, so anyway, so those are the positives. Those are some really, really great things. Um, okay, let's start with the challenges because I'm not gonna lie, weeks nine and 10, a lot about the challenges. Um, food aversion. I didn't think it was possible, but like my food aversion got worse. I couldn't eat grilled cheese. I couldn't eat mac and cheese. I could. I couldn't. I got like. I started towards I think week ten. Couldn't eat top ramen because I just got sick. Of, like, it was ridiculous. Basically, basically this is what was happening. It was like saltine crackers in the morning, oatmeal, and then just pray that I could eat something at night. It was so rough. I've been, I think, I don't, so far in my pregnancy, I've basically lost at least 10 pounds, if not more. And I'm, I wasn't trying. I, I just want that to be very clear. Absolutely was not trying to lose wait excuse me um i know that we've been on a weight loss thing and weight loss has been really important but that is not even on my mind but i ended up i think in the month of march losing at least 10 pounds if not more because um a lot because of food aversions and the food aversions was so hard because like for example like top ramen i was able to eat top ramen for a couple days and then all of a sudden it was like the next day I was eating it, eating it, eating it, couldn't eat it anymore. And it was so, it like, I cannot tell you how much it just makes you feel like you're going crazy. When you're having problems with food aversion, man, it, it's just, it makes no sense. And it's so, it's so hard. Like, I could eat. I couldn't eat toast with anything on it like butter no it was but I couldn't for whatever reason I could not eat just like just bread right out of the little thing it ha so I just it had to be toasted so I like Eric would put bread in the toaster and then just give it to me like I couldn't eat bread with anything on it once it was toast but I also couldn't eat just regular bread and it was the food aversion was crazy also nausea and i was i was just barfing ever like barfing up a storm it was crazy um i don't think it ever got to more than i think the max was three times so really i'm sure that there are so many worse things um and people have had it so much worse um with barfing so it was about it was pretty consistently like two to three times a day during this time um i became a superhero with super smelling the worst super power i'm not going to lie like 
people sometimes eric and i because we like love superhero movies and all this nerdy stuff and so we'll talk about some things like just at night about like okay what kind of superpower what's the worst i think i figured out the worst if you had super smell i think that's the worst because every i feel like when something is amplified it is disgusting oh and we made homemade cinnamon rolls and i couldn't even eat that and they they smelt thank thankfully they smell great but i just couldn't i just couldn't eat it. i think it was the butter i was having any i was having a hard time with anything with butter so in general absolutely can't couldn't eat any meat can't eat meat also i couldn't eat anything that was like fried greasy or fatty couldn't like so anything butter chips things I could eat some sweet things so like every day I had two Oreos I was able to eat two, two Oreos I was able to eat some goldfish like crackers goldfish crackers I was able to eat but like uh, oh peach peach cups oh my gosh so you like you know just like you put in school lunches peaches in a cup I've had those I had those every single day and they saved my life they it was, I looked forward to it every single day because it never turned on me. Because I felt like I would eat some things and then it would like turn on me, you know, and I would feel super nauseous and it would be rough. But it never, never did, which is great. Um, so the everything was really rough. And interestingly, I know it's called morning sickness. Generally speaking, in the morning, that's when I felt the best like I was a which maybe it's also because like naturally I'm a morning person um morning was great after dinner like so I had to I I had to take a nap every single day and then basically I would take a nap eat dinner and then after dinner I would feel terrible like it was it was miserable so I had a few hours where like, I would have nauseous spells, but I was able to, like, get some work done in the morning, um, during, during that time. Okay, but enough. You guys get it. It was rough for that one. Um, but one thing, there were a couple things I learned. First of all, I don't think I've ever appreciated the energy that your body needs that comes from food because I was at... A level of fatigue and tiredness that I could not understand like physically I was tired I couldn't just stand up for long for like 10 minutes I couldn't even just stand up for 10 minutes because I would get tired just standing doing nothing and my I just wasn't there mentally I feel like um it was it was rough and so my tiredness hit hit a new level my energy hit a new level um and then also something that i didn't quite expect that was really really rough was a lot of like emotional aspects really hit me because it was over well i could tell you now even though this is two week period it was over a two week period where i felt like I was in an alien body like I did not feel like myself because and I was like I was down I was really sad I was really struggling it was really 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 hard because I I just didn't feel like myself because like for the first time in my entire life my motivation was at a, almost zero, basically. And I am an extremely, extremely ambitious, driven, motivated person. And I have never experienced not being motivated to do anything. I laid in bed and watched so much TV with Eric that it's ridiculous and that's just not my like that's just not my personality like generally speaking when i'm feeling great i have such a hard time just sitting and watching tv or sitting and watching movies i like to be doing something productive while i'm watching tv and hours and hours and hours 
I would just sit. I got Eric involved in Vanderpump Rules. He watched it with me. I watched it again for like the third time this year. And man, it is just, and I was just sad. And I don't think like, it, it was just really, really tough. It was really tough. It was really hard. And I didn't know what to do. Like, I did not know what to do, how to get out of it or anything. Because I felt trapped in my own body. And I felt like I, I just felt like this was it. Like, I wasn't ever going to be able to be, a pr be productive ever again. Spoiler alert. I'm seeing a little bit of the light, okay? It's, it's getting a little bit better. But it was really hard because I really, like I really pride myself on working really hard and doing what I consider to be the right thing is. And I, and I just, I just didn't, you know, all that went away. And so it, it, just my sense of identity and sense of myself felt lost and and it was really really hard it just it just was um but once again i know this little baby's going to be worth it and if it means i have a healthy happy baby at the end of this i would deal with this for the whole pregnancy um but thankfully it doesn't look like I'll have to. Um, I was able to, if you are pregnant or whatever, I was able to find some tricks that would help me. So if I was starting to feel nauseous, if I could catch it, um, what I would do, this is, this is just what helped me, is I would lay on my back, on my bed, and I would have my head elevated. So like two pillows, I would have my head elevated and then I would suck on one of these Werther Originals and then just keep my eyes closed and like breathe in, breathe out, like focus on my breathing. Um, and sometimes that helps with the nausea, not every time, but sometimes it did help. Um, but I wanted to, I, sorry, this is really like, this seems like a negative video and I don't know like, I feel kind of bad or I honestly feel weird about it a little bit because like it it is what I was feeling it is what was going on and it was hard but I feel like nowadays the last thing we need is someone like being all negative and stuff but I want to give a huge shout out to um to all to everybody I'm quarantined with so we live with my parents and then obviously my husband and everybody was so so helpful and so accommodating because um I basically could not handle the smell of anything and so everybody was really accommodating about when they were going to be cooking or eating or warming up their food and they did it around my schedule so like when I was sleeping or when I would be in the back room just like laying doing nothing um so I felt really loved, really well taken care of. Um, oh my gosh, prenatal vitamins, those killed me. Every, <clears throat> every single time I took it, basically that's why my nights got ruined is because prenatal vitamins were so, and we try, we've tried so many different kinds and every kind made me throw up. And made me feel super nauseous and terrible um so it was rough but anyway i am so excited for this little one um please please forgive me and i hope you understand um that th this was just a rough time and i'm sorry if it come if i just feel like i'm just sitting here complaining i feel weird about it but i don't really um i also don't want to sugarcoat things you know it's like i do want to be honest but um yeah, anyway, that was just my life and I and I think I am coming out of it a bit uh, because I've passed 9 and 10 weeks right now. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are all doing well and thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.